What's up, kids? This is the voice of dogs, friend. Gonna read you guys a story so you can all get to bed nice and early. Don't get me wrong, I love babysitting you guys, but I got stuff to do. I got some people coming over, you know. Can't have a party if you guys are still awake. Uh, anyway, gonna tell you a story about this chick that I know. Her name's uh, Ruby. And uh, she's a pretty cool chick, for a freshman, I mean. She's like a couple years younger than me, but I see her a lot in the halls and like at lunch and stuff. You, know, you get the idea. Anyway, <clears throat> she's uh, she's got this weird grandma that lives out in the woods, like one of those hermit crabs or whatever. And uh, she's not feeling so hot, so she's got to take some food out to her in the middle of freaking nowhere. Now, I don't really get that part. Like, why wouldn't she bring her some medicine or some shit? Like, if Ruby had told me about it beforehand, I could have hooked her up with some oxy or something. And that always works for me. You kids ever have that shit? No? Uh, ask your parents. I'm sure some of them have a stash or whatever. Well, let's, you know, let's, let's get this started. She's, uh, she's, she's gonna go out into the woods, cause she doesn't wanna... She doesn't wanna go there right away. You know, she wants to explore a bit, that's just what she does, she's a rebel like that. So, um... Uh, Alright, what is... What is this music you kids have playing here? This is not doing it for me. The, the mood is totally off, and... I'm trying to tell a story here, and you guys are throwing me off, and that's not cool. Hang on, let me, let me fix this. I got an iPod here. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. <sighs> okay, now kids, this is uh, some real music. This is uh, Joy Division. Now, I like Joy Division because they're boring. They, like, reflect the banal, mundane nature of... of life, you know, it's like an allegory or something. And, uh, that Ian Curtis guy, I mean, he knew what was up, and he went out way before his time, and it's a shame, but that's how it goes sometimes, you know, when you have a gift to give the world, and you don't have enough time to give it to people and shove it in their faces and make them see how cool you are. That's, that's what music is about, really. I, I bet Ruby likes him too. I should, uh, I got, like, a, a mixtape I gotta give her, because I know totally the, I mean, the whole thing is about, I, I know how it is with her. Like, I, I understand where she's coming from. Uh, I mean, we don't really talk, you know, but I see her and I know. I get it, you know, so. I, I get how shit is for her. So, I want to give her a mixtape so she knows that I know, right? Right, you, you guys get it. Anyway, uh, back to Ruby. One thing I gotta say about her is that she she gets it, you know? She, like, she knows the score. I mean, not as much as I do, but for a freshman, you know, she's pretty sharp. She gets that the world is full of shit with all these tax collectors and bone collectors keeping tabs on everything. If she doesn't make that mistake that everyone else does of caring about things, which is why she's cool. And she doesn't care about that either, which just makes her more cool. See, she even wants to get into smoking, which, like I said, is cool. Uh, Ruby, if you want, I got some, like, sweet cigs you could try. They're called, uh, the Jarums. They're from, like, India or something, and they're, they're pretty sweet. Kids, you'll probably have to wait to start smoking, but make sure you start early, like, eighth grade at the latest. Uh, you'll totally be ahead of the curve, and you'll have enough experience with it in high school when it, it starts to catch on at that point, and it starts getting uncool to smoke cigarettes. At which point you'll have to move to like cigars or something to stay ahead. You'll you'll thank me later when you're ahead of all that. I'm sorry, I'm getting off topic again. I should probably mention that Ruby is not on the path to Grandma's house. I said it before, but it's I think it bears repeating. 
I mean, she'll get there eventually. She's just gonna wander around in the woods for a while. It's not like anything bad is gonna happen on the way. Uh, I mentioned it before, but Ruby is way too... That's blasé for anything bad to happen. And that's, like, the power of not caring. And I should probably talk to you kids about it, because it's really important, probably even more so than smoking. Uh, actually, you know what, before before I get too far away from it, I want to go back to music, which is really important in letting other people know how interesting and unique you are. And listening to it is really not enough. Uh, a lot of people make that mistake. You gotta find, like, filthy underground shows at local dives, and even more important is you gotta handle yourself right. And to do that, you gotta know how to dance correctly. You, you gotta move in a way that shows people that you don't give a shit about what's happening, and yet you're totally into it and understand it completely. Uh, I know it's hard to understand, but I got like a series of instructional videos on like my YouTube, like for different kinds of music, whatever you listen to. Like I got one for avant-garde new wave. New Age Techno Folk Jazz Psychedelic Beach Goth And if you're into that stuff, I got rap Either you a part of the problem or you a part of the solution What's your contribution to life? So, I pretty much cover all the bases uh, Dancing at shows is like an art and the sooner you master it, like, the sooner you'll, like, master people's opinions of you. Uh, hang on. Gotta keep myself fueled up when I'm telling you kids' story. Very important. Hang on, hold on. <coughs> Strong but good. <coughs> um, since we're on like the subject of art and stuff, I want to talk about one of my favorite things, which I know Ruby really likes too. It's decay. Like, the slow process of things rotting and dying and shit. It's, it's pretty deep, and man, I love it. I got some, uh, actually, I'm a, I'm a photographer. I do photography, and I take pictures, and one of my favorite subjects is decay. It's beautiful, like, rusted stuff and shit. I'll, I'll get all your emails, and I'll send you some stuff, like a, ring, uh, a link to my DeviantArt or something. <coughs> <coughs> so, you, so you can see what I mean. I got this one shot that's my favorite, I gotta upload it, of like a, a dumpster, and it's taken at like a weird angle, so it looks cool, you know? I think they call it like the Swiss angle or something. And it's just totally rusted through and falling apart, and the most beautiful thing in nature is when it's dying from, from oxidation, you know? The world wearing stuff down, just like it wears down you and me and everyone living in it. I mean, I'm like a world-weary 18-year-old, but you guys, you guys still got a long way to go. But it's gonna weigh you down too. So, I'm telling you this cuz you're gonna carry that weight a long time, no matter what. But if you listen to me, you'll be stronger, so you'll know how to take care of yourself and make other people respect you.
sorry, kids. <coughs> <sighs> you ever hear this one, boys and girls? The more you try to be yourself, the more you're going to conform to someone else's standard. That's just how things work. That's why I'm telling you this stuff, so you can learn how to be like me. So you'll know how to get people to like and respect you. I can't stress enough how important that is. That if you don't, if people don't respect you, then you don't have any value as a person. <sighs> that's, that's why you'll come and thank me. Years later, when you have your own kids, when you're older, and I'm more older and cooler, because that's probably how it'll go. It's the most valuable thing you'll ever learn.